Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back to kick off the last 16 round for the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. So we will have four matches in this session, starting off with this one by here. Okie dokie then, in the right corner, we have the Kentrosaurus. Defeated Metric Amphosaurus in the first round. Did quite well, but this matchup is going to be a little bit tougher. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. In the blue corner, we have the Crowlophosaurus. This Crowlophosaurus, well, I would say even though it won, I think it won, two, yeah, it won 2 0, it narrowly defeated the Allosaurus, because Allosaurus ran it really close in both rounds. But the Crowlophosaurus did get through in the end. Will it, do, will it defeat Kentrosaurus, or can Kentrosaurus spring a surprise? Oh, <laughs> it's very warm today. For those of you that don't know, we are currently in a heat wave. Well, apparently people call 20, 30 degrees a heat wave. <laughs> uh, pe UK people, we're absolute wimps when it comes to the weather. We shut the whole country down when there's about a millimetre of snow on the ground. And we, and we basically complain about any weather that's 25 degrees or up. That's British people for you. Very intolerant to the weather. Hopefully this Crowlophosaurus will help cool me down. Light recovery coming in there. At least I think, yes, that's light recovery. And we are level packing. It's a good match so far, good match. Ooh, has Kentrosaurus taken the lead? Du, 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 du. I'm probably going to say no. No, I was going to say no. I was always going to say no. Crown off a so clinging on. And there it goes. The mole attack will finish the job. And it's a very good performance so far from Kentrosaurus. Oh, I'm taking my headphones off because sod it. They they make me they make me sweat. I am I'm literally in my pants right now. Ain't I ain't I lucky I don't use a face cam? <laughs> we'll get to see my naked body. Right, let's move on to round two, shall we? Right then, round two, and yes, I got the characters mixed the other way round. Forgive me, it's hot, alright? <laughs> can the crown of come back after a setback? Or can the Kentosaurus? Make it 2-0, which will take him through to the quarterfinal. I, I have faith in you, Kentro. You can succeed where the Allosaurus did not. And look at the damage the crowd takes in the ties. I find that the secret dinosaurs tend to take more damage during ties. I don't know why. I wonder why. So using tie moves and tie attack could be really effective against secret dinosaurs. Well, unless it's Pachycephalosaurus, which is in fact Tie type I think there's other, like, Tie specialists as well. Like, well, not this Cryo, because this Cryo's strength... Well, this Cryo's gonna die. <laughs> this Cryo is really struggling. It's the hot weather, it is, it can't cope. Yep, there it is. Wow. Quick as a wink. Kentrosaurus has dispatched the Crowlophosaurus. The crowd of Osaurus just couldn't handle the heat and bows out of the tournament. Well, first match of the last 16 round, we already have an upset. Will we see more upsets in the coming matches? Let's find out, shall we, as we move on to our second match of this session. Right the old then, in the red corner, we have a Decreosaurus. Cryosaurus doing well in the first round, showing its might as the purple sauropod. Well, it might be the dinosaur, actually. I have to double check my research. However, in the blue corner, we have a Jurassic Classic here in Apatosaurus. Well, the Apatosaurus powered its way through the first round to get here. And I'm sure it's looking to stomp all over the Cryosaurus to make the quarters. 
But the Creosaurus is not to be underestimated. As, Alice, as Crowlophosaurus just found out a few minutes ago, and Megalosaurus found out in the last round, these weaker dinosaurs do pack a punch. So a Patlosaurus has got to watch its six. In fact, I think it's the only secret dinosaur left now. Can it do, can it do, do it? Well, the crit's always a good start, isn't it? But the Creosaurus gets a hit back. Interesting that they're fighting on the lava field. Not very comfortable for these two. Oh, it's a tie. Six. Alright, that's a tie. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. For the freaking background noise cowboys. Alright, I hope that didn't affect the result. They should, they should. And it's not going to. The Decreosaurus is going to get the kill and take the 1-0 lead. Oh, no it's not, no it's not. Of course it's not, because the secret moves have been triggered. <laughs> I got a bit ahead of myself. Oh, it's crit block, so yeah, the Decreosaurus is going to take the lead. And that scissors makes sure of it. Well, are we on for another upset here? Kralophosaurus gone, Megalosaurus gone. Is a Patasaurus about to join them? Right then, round two between these two long neck boys. Can the Apatosaurus recover? Or will the Kraosaurus take out the final secret dinosaur in this tournament? Yes, let's get on with it. Oh, oh, we start with a tie. Oh, it's ocean panic. It might be time to panic for the Apatosaurus. Because that will nullify one of its moves as well. Well, it doesn't always happen, but it usually does. Sploosh. There's a shockwave. Well, that's just the start the Creosaurus wanted. Because now he will go for rock. Ooh, ooh, Apatosaurus avoiding that scare there with a tie. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a disaster! Disaster for the Apatosaurus! There's a crit coming from the Creosaurus! The Creosaurus demolishing the Apatosaurus there to advance to the quarterfinals! And that is all she wrote for all the secret dinosaurs in this tournament! Megalosaurus gone, Krylophosaurus out, and now Apatosaurus has joined them! What a start to the last 16 round. And we got two more matches to go in this video as well. So let's get on with our third matchup of this session. Right then, in the red corner, we got the legendary purple predator itself, the Sejuomasaurus, the dinosaur that apparently no longer exists. But it exists in this game and is kicking some major butt. It can beat the elite without skipping a beat. And I believe it did defeat this dinosaur in the Wicked Wind Tournament. In the blue corner, we got the Sinraptor. Sinraptor looking to take a bite out of Sejuomasaurus' purple patch. Can he do it? And yes, it's another wind matchup, because the majority of dinosaurs in this tournament are wind dinosaurs. <laughs> Can't be out, can't be out. Oh, we start with a tie. Tie suit the sage. Actually, no. Ty's probably favoured the sign raptor there with the move breaker. Another tie. Ooh, but it's Sejuan getting the first hit. It's a crit. Wow, this, this guy is literally a folklore. Folk stories. Legendary dinosaur, Sejuanosaurus. And he's proven it so far. Boosh! Slippy, slippy, slap, slap! Here it comes, I think that's Struthiel Rush. I always get the paper and scissors when he's mixed up. There's a tie. Well, tie suit says wrong now. One tie will win it for him. 
Oh, well, he doesn't need ties. Instead, he's going to get the hit and win the first round. And have a 1-0 lead. Well played by the Purple Predator. But it's not over yet for Sign Raptor. He can still turn this around as we move on to round two. Right then, round two. Can Sejuangasaurus get yet another win on the, in, in these tournaments? Or will the Sign Raptor pull fight back? Oof, I'm all slobbery. <laughs> I'm like a slobbery little mat. Mm. Oh, I've never seen comic be like it before. And I had like drooling all over the place. Look at that, like a buddy mongrel. Right. Back to the match, and a sign raptor getting the first hit, and it's a death grind, so things are gonna get smelly. Oh, look at the damage! Over half health. Just what sign raptor ordered. Oh, and this might actually be one all. Oh, I almost won it. Almost did it, the sign raptor. If he got jet shotgun off, that would have done it. Nope, but this next hit will do it. Quick as a wing, Sign Raptor evens, evens things up. And you know what that means? It's all gonna come down to this next round. All right then, our deciding round between these two windy dinosaurs. Will the Sign Raptor continue its winning momentum from round two, or will Sejuangasaurus put a stop to that? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's a crit from the side. Things not looking good for Sejuan. Oh, okay. Sejuan saw us finally getting a hit there. Strike him back. Slippy, slippy, slap, slap, slip. And Strophio Rush coming in as well. Oh, but it's Sign Raptor responding with a crit. Is this the end of Sejuangosaurus? Yeah, I think this is going to probably be the end. I do think it's revival type, though, so... Oh! Maybe not. Has Sejuangosaurus just saved himself? Oh, look at that! Well, look at this, it all comes down to this. This is exactly what these tournaments are about. A tie might... Oh, Sejuan's done it! Yet again, the Purple Predator pulls off the win. From the brink of defeat, Sejuangosaurus gets it done. A very impressive win from Sejuangosaurus, and he advances to the quarter-final round. Oh, that was a brilliant match. Wow, these matches have been epic so far. I don't know how this next one's going to live up to, to the hype, but we'll have to see, won't we? Will this final matchup of this session be as good as the first three? Let's find out. Right the O then, in the red corner, we got the pain in the ass. It's Camarosaurus. And for those of you that are in the dark and why this thing's a pain in the ass. It's because when I did the original roster for this tournament, I forgot to include it and it completely threw my plans under the bus. However, in the blue corner, we have Armatus, the champion of the Earthshakers tournament, looking to be the first dino to win two tournaments. Two mini tournaments, that is. Come on, Armatus. I'm fully behind you, Armatus. I want you to knock this pain in the ass out of the tournament. Ooh, that's a very good start. Getting a crit off the bat. Ooh, is that an earth barrier? Indeed it is. Armatus starting strong. Fortifying his position early on with the earth barrier. Tight. Ooh, another crit from Armatus. Is that going to be lethal? Nope. But it leaves Armatus one hit away from winning this round. 
And yep, there it is. Armatus taking a 1 0 lead, dispatching the pain in the ass quite quickly. And it didn't even need the Earth Barrier because it didn't get hit. Right then, let's move on to round two, shall we? Right, round two. Will the Camarasaurus put up the fight this time, or will Armatus continue to steamroll? Ooh, it's the Kama getting the first hit this time. And it's two before a dive to come as well. I butchered that, didn't I? <laughs> Ugh. One, two, three. Futaba Cannon getting triggered. And there's the Futaba Cannon. And another Tutu dive to come. This is a much better performance so far from the Kama. Armatus yet to get going. Boosh. Splash. Go on, Armatus, do something. Don't just take this, dude. You're a stag. You've got to hit her. Uh, no, you're going to die. <laughs> well, it was quick, wasn't it? Quick as a wink, Camarasaurus evens the score. Armatus, well, like the camera in the first matchup, didn't get a hit. So you know what that means? It's all going to come down to this deciding round. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Will that give Seth and his Camarasaurus the edge? I hope not, because I want a Camarasaurus to lose, because it was a pain in the ass. Hey, hate it. This Camarasaurus is basically the naughty toddler of this tournament. Ooh, there's a tie. Oh, the camera gets the first hit. Boosh. Armatus not looking in good shape so far. But, you know, the match is still young. Oh, it's a crit. That Tutu dive might be the killer. It's, it's Dino Yeetage time. You're shooing me hard. Oh, oh, we, kill, oh, we killed it. And Camarasaurus coming from behind to end Armatus's hopes of winning two mini tournaments. And the naughty toddler goes through to the quarterfinal round. Wow, Armatus just couldn't get a hit there. I mean, it did so well in the first round, but after that, it just completely fell apart. And the Camarasaurus took full advantage. Right, let's have a look at our two matchups for the quarterfinals, and we can end the session. Well, I don't think anyone could guess that these four dinosaurs would get this far. The Kentrosaurus getting past the Krautlophosaurus, the Kraosaurus stunning a Patasaurus, Sejuangosaurus snatching victory from Sinraptor, and Kamarasaurus bullying Armatus. So we're in for some very interesting quarterfinal matches so far. And we still got these four matches to go through as well. Who will make it through to the quarterfinals out of this lot? Find out in the next session. And until then, this is Trading Gamer, signing out. Mm -hmm.